right, guys. So we're going to go over part one of my fight ready mobility sequencing. Here is a passive range lift off in hip flexion. I'm going to drive my knee up as high as I can passively and then actively hold that position after I let go using irradiation. Now here's a hip extension, passive range lift off. You're going to squeeze that glute, lock down the hamstring, hold for a good five to 10 seconds. Repeat the process two to three times. All right, next up, we're going to go into a prone external rotation of the shoulder using an active block, trying to maintain that neutral spine, getting a good core brace so you're not uh, extending at the lumbar, and we're just trying to get good external rotation of that shoulder. Okay, so right here we are in a quadruped position and we're just working that external rotation of the shoulder. Just when you do this, make sure you maintain a neutral spine, keeping that core nice and braced and you're not extending at the T-spine or TL junction. Now we're just going to repeat the process going internal rotation of the shoulder. Try to make sure not to shrug your shoulders as you do this, you know, keeping that neutral spine and keeping that core braced as much as possible. Okay, so right here we're just working on hip mobilization and activation of the glute. While you get in the bridge, this is the glute bridge leg whip. So as you get into that bridge and you go to AB duct out, make sure that that hip does not drop. And as you bring it in, make sure that you don't lose position of that hip in that neutral position. Okay, right here we're just doing a basic fire hydrant, keeping that core nice and braced with the neutral spine. Gaining that range of motion, but not going too far to where we lose it in the hips and in the low back. Right here is just going to be a basic wall slide or wall angels. You're going to make sure that you're keeping four points of contact on the wall the whole time, especially the lower back. As you go to slide your arms up and down the wall, keeping that uh, constant contact with you in the wall throughout the entire movement. All right, so now we're going into shoulder extension and range hovers with an internal rotation component. Basically a single arm swimmer with a, with a hover. So you're using that block to make sure that you get that tactile cue to actually go over and get that range of motion into that anterior delt, pec minor, pec major, making sure that you're not compensating throughout the entire spine and especially in the lower back. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping that neutral spine, but we're rotating that shoulder over efficiently. All right, so here we go. We're going to irradiate going into an end range hold on hip flexion, straight leg hip flexion. So we're going to go knee extension, hip flexion, driving that toe, driving those toes up to the ceiling, making sure you're activating the psoas, activating the quad, activating all those hip flexors, keeping that core tight. It definitely will fire up your abs and uh, make sure that you're working those muscles accordingly. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and do a hip extension with knee flexion and working on the glute, working on the hamstring, making sure you're not putting it into the lower back. Notice how you see that I'm not overextending to where it dips down and I extend in the lower back. We don't want that. All right, last thing for today, we're going to go ahead and do dorsiflexion and plantar flexion and just working through that range of motion. You want to hold for a two count on each side. I'm going to repeat the process a couple of times just to gain that new range of motion into those ankles. All right, so that's it for part two. Make sure you check out part three in my later videos.